folks living at a mobile home park on Tucson's south side say they're fed up with a lack of electricity during the hottest time of the year. And now they want answers about how long it will last. So I went to find out more about the problem and solution. Down at the 1400 block of West Ajo Way and Mission on Tucson's south side, residents at the Mesa Ridge Mobile Home Park are frustrated. You know, we are human beings you know, with rights. That's because power goes out on a regular basis. And we're not getting justice. We're getting stepped on. Homeowner and veteran Robert Barajas has lived in his home for 12 years. He says things were good at first. Well, when I first moved in here, it was like a garden Eden. I was so happy when I moved in here. And now, God, I'm living in hell. Then things went downhill when construction started to upgrade the community's electrical system. As a matter of fact, Baraja says the entire community has been powered on generators for more than four years. They're trying to install after a long, long time. It actually messed up this power outlet and all down in there. We also caught up with Jasmine Grijalva, who's been renting her place for three years. She says it's not just the power, it's the water too. It's just one or the other always. It's never a steady month where we completely have both powers and water running. So I'll just go to my mom's, my mother-in-law's, or you know somewhere where I know I'm good and the kids are AC'd and with water. Nine on Your Side found out the owner is responsible for upgrading and distributing the power to its residents. We never know when our electricity is going to go out, so when it does, I mean, we have food in our refrigerator and that spoils within the day. We reached out to RHP, the owner of the property, and they released the following statement. It says, in part, the safety and comfort of our residents is our top priority. We are in the midst of a $12 million community-wide electrical system upgrade and once complete, which is estimated to be in October. We are aware of the intermittent power outages and we are working diligently with our electrical engineers to remedy the situation. Now Robert and Jasmine will continue to wait and hope for the best. There's so many people in this community, so many kids around here, you know, water and electric is the main thing we need. And we will continue to keep an eye on this story and let you know what happens next. Well, it looks like the ACs are cranking out the cold air. These temperatures are getting higher and my bill is going up, Brian. <laughs> yes, mine too. A lot of people oh, are man. noticing that. I mean, what else?